Hi, everybody! Oh, no! I just came back from the grocery store. I better go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Happy not my birthday to me. Happy not my birthday to me. Happy not my birthday, dear River K. Happy not my birthday to me. Oh, good. Now I know they're all clean. <sighs> Oh no, did you hear that? <laughs> Try to forget it, please. Anyway, okay, today's chapel is going to be called a game chapel because I'm going to teach you a game. And here's how it's going to go. It's called the gratitude game. Now, this is how you're going to do it. Oh, that's right. You're probably going to need your adult or a parent that's in your home to come in and, and, and listen to the rules too so they can play along. So I'll wait while you get your, your parent. I, I've got something here I like to read anyway. So, mm -hmm. Mm. boy, I really like the fact that I can read. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm glad I know my numbers too, because if I have to close the book, I'll know exactly where I was when I pick it up again. Oh, wait a minute. You everybody there? Okay, looks like you do. Uh, ah, page 15. All right. Now, here's how we play the gratitude game. What you do is you get out a piece of paper and you write down, it could be crayon, pencil, doesn't make any difference. Color, color pencils are kind of cool too. And make a long list of everything you are grateful for. Everything that you really like, that you're thankful for, that you enjoy and number them all the way down. Now, don't show your parent or your adult there, but go ahead and make the list. And then when you're finished, ask them if they can guess the number of things that you have. Okay, now, I'm gonna need to ask you to tell your parent, or if they're listening, I need to let them know that what you really need to do right now is the adult or the parent, they need to put their hands over their ears and they need to close their eyes because I'm going to tell you a little secret. Shh. Okay. Check them. Make sure they're they're closed. Mm -hmm. Ah, not nah, no peeking. Okay. Okay, we got it. This is what we're going to do. You need to put down everything. I mean, make a bazillion things on your list. It could be like shapes of leaves or all the kind of bugs that you like or something. Just make this humongous list. They'll never guess it. It's gonna be so cool. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, go ahead and tell them they can take their hands and you know open their eyes and stuff. I'll wait. Okay, good. Now that we're all back together again. So everybody got that game? It's a gratitude game. And if by some chance the adult or parent, you know, has some time. Maybe they could make a list too, and then you've got to guess what it is. You could even do things like guess how many are red or how many are blue, that kind of thing. Now, one of the things I'm sure, and that is if your teacher was making a list, you would be right up there at the top of things that they're grateful for because I know they are missing you big time. I know I am, and I only get to see you once a week. They were used to seeing you five days a week and they don't see you. You would be way up on that list. But anyway, do that gratitude game. See if they can guess how many you've got. Oh, and by the way, during the week, keep your eyes open, your ears open for something else you might be grateful for because then by the end of the week when you play the game, you're going to have this huge list that's even bigger than it is on Monday. And nobody's going to be able to guess that list. That'll be coolest. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week and be grateful. And I will super be grateful when we get back together again. So, all right. Bye-bye.